So, good afternoon. I have this sad job <laughs> of trying to explain the value of information applied uh, to, uh, through Facebook. So, uh, these are a few concepts uh, of my presentation in Mullet. So, I will try to explain why TU 1402 uh, must use Facebook. So, which are the benefits? Example of successful Facebook pages. Uh, and uh, regarding our potential Facebook page, so which could be the dissemination strategy, target audiences, purposes, post content and uh, template, post management and sharing action plan. So we are all aware, I think, uh, of the fact that traditional media channels, as uh, Maria Pia also trying to explain, so scientific publication, technical reports, literature reviews and so on, are that the best communication channels, if we want to reach the uh, research communities, academics, lecturers, uh, all people in, with analogous uh, professional background, sector, industrial sector as well, public authorities, policy makers, okay. And this kind of post is addressed to these people and do actually engage these kind of people. But when we shift our target and we want to reach out and engage the general public, uh, we have to think a bit differently because we are not dealing uh, with people that have a similar professional background, but we are dealing also with a non-expert community of people. So at the end, we have to accept the fact that these traditional media channels do not work anymore because are not so user-friendly, are not so handy, are not so appealing. And uh, we have to accept the fact that we have to to use the new communication channels that are based on the on internet. And especially I'm referring to social media platforms. And uh, among all these social media platforms, if we look also at the statistics, Facebook is the one that dominates the social landscapes. So either we like it or not, we have to accept this fact. So basically the future, when it comes to promoting, advertising, disseminating uh, every kind of business, let pass me the, this word, the most used social network is Facebook. And uh, for example, last week I participated to a mm -hmm. webinar uh, that was uh, like um, done by the internet program. And one of the main tool that they suggested us to use to disseminate the content, I mean, the results of our project is Facebook. So it's the most popular, in fact, a social media platform with the over 1 million active users daily throughout the world. And it's the most engaged social network with the highest digital audience penetration versus engagement. So this means that people do not actually just overlook the post, but they engage <coughs> with the post content. So which are just a few benefits of uh, using Facebook? Uh, for example, in our case, we have a near zero cost dissemination strategy. Of course, we can boost the post and we can pay Facebook for it, for it but uh, Maybe it won't be the case, we don't need that, so it's basically a zero-cost dissemination strategy. We don't need technical expertise, so we don't need like all the time that handing is spending on the web page, uh, because it's completely different. We don't need technical skills. We don't need anything, just a bit of time, of course, because it requires a bit of time as well. And it's a very easy uh, um, platform, interactive platform. We can have a direct contact uh, uh, contact uh, with the end users, like also whatever, I mean, the general public, if they ask questions, we can directly reply. We don't need any particular tool. Everything is easy. And uh, we can also redirect, uh, this is important, the user traffic uh, to the action website. In fact, uh, lots of uh, web pages about even newspaper, any kind of project, they have the Facebook page to increase also the visibility of the web page. Because sometimes, uh, I mean, I don't understand why, I mean, the mechanisms of the search in a Google on other browsers, but you don't have, for example, the cost action at the first place, the web page. But maybe, like, uh, it could be a mutual, um, like, uh, advertising uh, the web page having Facebook link and Facebook having the link to the web page. And also we have public access and direct access to the action materials, relevant info. This is also through the web page. We can put links. We, we won't go to uh, like, um, we won't use technical contents for Facebook. So complicated posts, not at all. But for interested people, we can put the link to the web page. So reach even a more high level 
content that uh, for some people can be interesting. Example of the successful Facebook page, I found out, for example, here, this human brain project is also a project. Of course, has nothing to do with our action, but the purpose, the common denominator is the same, reaching the general public. So also, they reached uh, like uh, 20,000 likes. That is a very good result because knowing a bit uh, what's behind Facebook, uh, reaching already 21,000 likes, I would say it's already a true success. If we were able to reach 500, I'm already happy because it's very difficult, except if you pay Facebook, of course, but uh, it won't be our case. We shouldn't do that. Marie Curie Action has a Facebook page, also very successful one. And this is an example that I can personally testify. This is a Facebook page of the SAC Master that is uh, coordinated by the head of the structural measuring group I'm part of uh, my university. And I have to say the truth, in my department, they care a lot about the dissemination through Facebook. Uh, this is one of example. this master is internationally recognized, has been awarded by Europa Nostra this month in the category education and training. And uh, we have also discussion on how to disseminate on Facebook the content. So it's also discussion during our meetings, for example. And these are very good results. We have this page is growing day by day and there are people applying for the master throughout the world. So and the great news is also that <laughs> the cost section has a Facebook page. So why shouldn't we have our own Facebook page for the cost section? And we can also like try to uh, to make them as, as especially at the beginning to share our posts on their page. They have 5,000 likes, uh, 6,000 almost. I mean, it's not so great, but it's a very good result. As, as I said, you, those are very successful pages. This, uh, it's a good page. And uh, if we will reach 500, seriously, I'm happy. But uh, I mean, we can also use the channels to increase at the beginning our visibility. So coming to our potential Facebook page, this can be, I mean, our strategy will be for sure to uh, publish uh, target-oriented posts, mainly for European citizens. Of course, the, uh, the general public, uh, we hope to reach, uh, to spread the message worldwide, so within Europe and beyond, to reach media reporters, because we can reach media reporters too, through Facebook and stakeholders in general, because as Maria Pia said, the message could pass from general public to researchers searchers because it's easy to understand and we shouldn't think that through Facebook we only reach dummies because most of us probably has a Facebook profile so we can actually also share the cost action content on our profiles and lots of researchers lots of professionals here have I mean in the world have Facebook profiles and we don't just look for stupid contents but we also look for interesting contents I mean, Facebook has become, as is replacing lots of uh, traditional media channels. This is the truth. I personally read news on Facebook instead of uh, reading newspapers. But OK, I'm probably. So about the purposes, uh, for sure, raise public awareness about the value of structure and monitoring through Facebook, share and promote the activities, the achievement, whatever we do uh, within the action, meetings, conference, workshop, training school, whatever. Uh, provide a light platform for information ex exchange and transfer knowledge because we shouldn't keep the knowledge within ourselves. We shouldn't keep the knowledge just for a specific uh, um, group of people, researchers, academics. We should transfer the knowledge to the society. I think this is one of the main purpose of the cost action. And reach and engage, of course, the target audience and increase the visibility, as I said, of the action web page. About the contents and template of the post, uh, I, I already mentioned a few, so we can uh, publish news about the activities carried out during the action, events involving the cost action organized by the action, training schools, short-term scientific mission, whatever. Why and wherefores of quantifying the value of structural monitoring, but of course with simple words, without going too deeply into the matter, then we can put link to the web page for people that are interested more. Pills for dummies about procedures, techniques, and tools, so very short messages. We shouldn't lose too much time, even because we don't have too much time, but also because people do not engage with posts that are like uh, long, I don't know how many lines, and with things that are complicated. We should be simple, direct, uh, appealing, and uh, very short and uh, concise. 
And also we can put some case study examples because probably with pictures they are more appealing and they can reach out and engage more, more people. About uh, like uh, this is uh, the one at the bottom, a small suggestion for a template, like a small title, body of the post, link to the action web page if needed. We can end with hashtags, for example, that we can discuss also about it. And I would suggest also to add always pictures because the, for the post visibility on Facebook, uh, Facebook gives preference to videos, but we don't have the time to make videos every time. So at least we should put always text and photos because photos, they reach uh, a larger audience than just only text. This is a proposal of a calendar. We can also send in the tail than the dissemination uh, plan. And for the calendar, uh, this is a proposal just working uh, in uh, um, publish uh, one post per week by each working group. This means that each working group has a commitment to publishing once every six weeks. And if each working group is composed by lots of people and the group leader just nominate each time, like for 15 of June, the, working, uh, the leader of group one designate one person. For 27 of July, another, another, another. At the end, each of us probably will end up publishing once per year or even less. So it's not a very demanding task for all of you. Yes. And the page will be managed, of course, by one or two administrators that will be the only people allowed to publish on the page. So you don't have to take care about anything, just sending in a while, once in a while a post. And uh, of course, to be um, a post must, must be made, of course, to the page administrator with CC to Sebastian. I would say uh, to Maria Pia because it's the work with the, the group leader of dissemination task and the corresponding group leader. I mean, but we will send the details about this. So this is just uh, a proposal. Then once we create the pa page, of course, all of you are invited to like the page. I forgot to say here also to invite your friends to like the page and to, <laughs> of course, and to share, of course, the, publi uh, the post published by the action because like this, we try to engage our friends and at the same time, mm -hmm. so, I mean, it's a chain. So you know how it works. Uh, beyond uh, the post uh, that are like uh, will be published according to this calendar, we can. Uh, I mean, the administrators will publish the, uh, will publish will publish periodically other posts that we can uh, think of posts that are interesting for us. Then we can take from other pages and websites. So if you have suggestions about possible website or pages whose content is uh, interesting to be shared and uh, it's aligned somehow with the, our action, we can also, this is just to keep the page active because if you publish once per month, uh, that page is going to die. So just to, to conclude, Facebook, as I said, dominates the social landscape. We have to, either we like it or not, we have to accept it. It offers a, a zero cost dissemination strategy. It's a live interactive platform. The contents can reach an impressive number of people. Uh, Facebook, of course, can push the action visibility. And as I said before, several European progress are already encouraging a lot the use of Facebook for dissemination purposes. So what are we waiting for? Oops, <laughs> we got a boosted. <laughs> okay.